hybrid reactor. Roll off. What's going on, Reactor Rides? Welcome back for another edition of the Nerd Reactor Podcast, a video version of the podcast. Uh-huh. Wow, that's amazing. That's that's <laughs> technology right there. I'm shocked. Look at my face. I'm your host, Mike Villarreal, and I'm joined with... John Wynn. And uh, today we're going to talk about the most recent episode of Supergirl titled Blood Bonds. This is the latest episode. Uh, unlike Arrow and uh, Flash, it's not really taking a break for the show, so... Uh, we can get back get right into the, the you know one of the main storylines is that uh, uh, Cat Cat uh, Grant seems to know who Supergirl is. Uh, that's one of the big uh, plots of the. This yeah, that episode. was a big cliffhanger from the last episode, the mid season <laughs> mid season finale. Yeah, and here uh, you're thinking they're gonna like. Uh, I'm thinking Kara's gonna admit that yeah I'm Supergirl, but here she plays it off like it's nothing, and that Cat's kind of crazy for thinking that. Yeah, it, it's kind of. It was interesting because I mean, it's just like Clark Kent. You know, you would you would think that anybody could figure it out. That you know, the little hair. I can't figure it out. <laughs> the little hair if curl you, and if the... you take off the glasses right now. I wouldn't. Even... What? <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so you know, she's kind of like figures it out, and she's just like you know, calls her out on the spot, and then that's what she does like the entire episode. She's trying to get her to admit it. She wants her to admit it. To her face, yeah. that she's a Supergirl. Yeah, she gave her like two options. Like, if you're a Supergirl, I don't want you working here. I want you to just quit your job. But if you're not, just prove yourself. That's it. Uh, you know, this episode's like one another, another one of like they they always do these kind of. Uh, they did a couple of, uh, episodes similar to this before, where there's there's a couple of things going on, so it's kind of like really hard for her to deal with all the stuff that's going on at the same time because mm-hmm. she's got the thing with. You know, Cat Grant, and then she's got this whole thing that's going on with her, uh, what you call her aunt. Her aunt, yeah. Yeah, and you know, she's telling her that, you know, there's this whole other story that she's never heard of about what happened on Krypton, and that, you know, she was not the traitor that she was made out to be, and, you know, she hasn't heard this, her side, and then you got this whole other thing going on with, you know, uh, John, uh, John Johns, and, you know, he gets kidnapped by, uh, uh, her aunt's uh, husband. And it's just like so much for her to deal with, and it that's really like a, a good part of like the episode is just seeing her try to, you know, her frustration with all these different elements happening, and it's like hard for her to to balance. She's only human, <laughs> or not? <laughs> yeah, you've seen this before in other episodes, but uh, I mean, it, it's a good. Uh, I think it's like good idea for like yeah. the show. Like it, it's it's what makes it different from the other shows because I mean. I think you see a little bit in uh, Flash. The Flash, yeah. yeah. There are parts in the Flash where he's unsure of himself. It was like a whole episode of it, but then later on he realizes that, uh, you know, he's got a good support system. And here we see that with uh, Kara, because you, uh, uh, you have James Olsen and you have Wynn, and they're both uh, just there to, uh, they want to protect Kara. Uh, there was a mission that they want to find out about Max mm-hmm. and to find out that he's evil and that he's, he's working on... A top secret project of just destroying Kryptonians. Yeah. And uh, James Olsen, he goes to uh, Max's building to find that information. But then the second time he asks uh, Wynn for help and he gets caught. Yeah. He gets beat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, you know, it's funny because I remember when we first watched the, the first couple episodes and they introduced this character, we weren't really sure if he was a bad guy or not. And then now it seems like... I, I was pretty sure he was a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, they might show that he's he's kind of nice, he's here to help out, but he's like Supergirl's version of Lex Luthor. Yeah. And so it's like, I guess now he's just like a full-fledged villain, like no mm-hmm. matter what. So, But I mean, but is he really a villain, though? <laughs> Is he? <laughs> is exactly. He's, he just wants to destroy Kryptonians. Yeah. But he still cares about humans because there's an episode before, if you watch, where there's like an earthquake or what was it? Earthquake or yeah, the earthquake one. Yeah, and he was there to help out people. It looked like he was caring, or was it all an act? <laughs> so yeah, it, it it's kind of weird. Uh, and then the, you got the whole the bomb thing, remember? Because he had those bombs that you know she had to go and find. And, yeah. And uh, so he, he's he's got you know. The way he goes about it is obviously very villainous, but I mean... Right now it is, after you see him <laughs> beat the crap out of James Olsen. Yeah. It's like an interrogation scene, and he just he just pummeled him. I was like, whoa, leave James out of this. Yeah, and he's got like some huge vendetta against, yeah. you know, uh, Supergirl. 
So it's... Uh, but I can see where he's coming from. He just wants the humans to be able to take care of themselves. He doesn't want aliens to come over and take over. So I don't know if he's going to be like a, a villain for long. He could kind of be like maybe like uh, the reverse of Lex Luthor. Because remember when Lex started out, he was a good guy. And he was Clark's friend. Mm -hmm. But then by the end it's of the series... talking about Smallville. Yeah, Smallville. Yeah. But by the end of Smallville, he was, you know, he was Clark's enemy. Or at least, you know, Superman's enemy. So they could do like an opposite yeah. where it's like he starts out enemy and then... Later on, he's like their friend because, I mean, they could they could do it either way. Yeah. But I mean, it just seems or they can like... still continue on with him being like a mixture of being good and bad. Like you're still never sure, and that's what makes a great villain because you still kind of root for them, but then they're still going about it in a different way. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I mean, he... like what we have now with uh, Kara's aunt, like she's like a bad guy at the beginning. But then later on, you uh, you peel off the layers and you, yeah, you see more of her. What, what, what has layers, John? <laughs> Onions. <laughs> She's like an onion. Yeah, yeah. That's Shrek reference. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like uh, they, I'm sure they'll have episodes where they find like common ground where yeah. they have a mutual enemy. So I don't know. We'll we'll see how this plays out. I mean, I think that what I really liked about this episode was that you know they didn't. They, they've kind of like stopped playing off of the whole love triangle with uh, Wynn and uh, James. It's uh, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, there. And uh, it's, it's, I'm just waiting for uh, Wynn to finally have the balls to ask her out. So let's just get it over with. Other than that, we have the aunt. We, we know that she still has a caring side for Kara. Uh, she still, yeah, she still cares about her. Yeah. And they had a deal where, what's this, Nan? Mm -hmm. Nan wants uh, the aunt back. And then the D.E.O. wants, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Hank? Henry? <laughs> Hank, Hank Henshaw? Hank Henshaw back. Henry Henshaw. So they have to do a switch, but then you have, uh, Louis uh, Lane's father, he's coming into the mix, and he's like, no, we'll, we'll do things our way, we'll keep, we'll keep the ant in, uh, in prison, and in, uh, I don't know, he, uh, his way is... Could, is it done? <laughs> it's... It's not the best way. I mean, it's well, not it's the, It's not the human way. It's not the, yeah. the... The good American way. <laughs> um, I don't know. We've done some torture. <laughs> but yeah. the, the message of Supergirl is about hope, and it's about just still being human. Mm -hmm. So it's like Supergirl, a Kryptonian from outer space, she's showing us that she can be more human than the actual humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I, it, was, it was a good episode. Um, I just want to say, like, you pointed out one thing during the, the episode, the torture yeah. scene. Where, you know, he brings in, like, I guess these vials of uh, crypt, crypt, uh, kryptonite. kryptonite. Like, I mean, I'm going to guess it's diluted, because if that was just pure kryptonite, it'd probably kill her. Yeah. But I've never seen it done that way before, so that was pretty interesting. Like, I mean, we yeah. saw we saw bullets, <laughs> you know. Bullets, uh, uh, liquid uh, kryptonite, and then you have just uh, her prison, her cell. It's just, like, uh, kryptonite all over. Yeah. So it's like these guys, they can... Probably take out Superman if Superman were to show up. Like, hey, ah! <laughs> so yeah, that that scene though, because uh, you know they he's like you know threatening to inject her and she won't give up the base of where you know Hank Shaw is, and so uh, you know it's it's a uh, it, it's supposed to be like a, I guess you say like a really touching scene because you know it's hard for Kara because she doesn't want to see her aunt in this predicament. At the same time, she wants to find out where Hank is. But at the same time, she doesn't want, you know, to lower herself to them because he yeah. says that, you know, oh, we're, we, we're better than that. We, you know, whatever. And uh, it, it was interesting scene, but you said, like, you know, it wasn't, like, probably her best acting. Uh, just that one scene where uh, her sister is carrying her out. She's like, no, no, no. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, she could have done a better job at yeah. that point. But, but overall, uh, she's still, I still like her. I still like Melissa Benoist as Supergirl. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... It's it was a good episode. I I enjoyed this episode. Um, they they I like I still like the whole uh, dynamic between Kara and uh, what you call the uh, Cat Grant. Yeah, that's it, a really good. I love I love <laughs> I love Cat <laughs> on the show. <laughs> like before when I heard about the casting, like uh, Costa Flockhart. Um, I don't know, but here she's just she's just very sp smart. Like she knows things. Uh, like her uh, super, Kara Supergirl. So here, she's testing her out. She's testing her history, and at the end, Kara disproves uh, that theory 
by having two, uh, you know, having Supergirl and Kara at the same time. How is this possible? How is this possible? <laughs> John Johns. And that was a pretty funny uh, scene because it's like, it's hard for her to really disprove that after that point, yeah. you know? So it's like, even though she, she, she was right, you know, she knows who Supergirl is. Seeing them side by side, it was hard yeah. for her to really like, you know, disprove that. And, you know, John Johns is, you know, now Supergirl knows uh, why he did, decided not to tell in the first place. I don't know, but it's it's out of the bag now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, the reason is because uh, she can't keep a secret. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look how many people know who she is. Yeah, Wayne knows, James <laughs> knows. Um, uh, luckily, Kat doesn't know Pretty much now. all of the DEO, they, they know who she is. <laughs> yeah. So. And I'm pretty sure sooner or later, uh, Max is going to find out. Yeah. I mean, that seems to be like his... Uh, his his big motive, like remember that that one episode where they did the the train, yeah, the train thing, because you know she's like, you know, you you like you were looking for somebody in there that you specifically wanted to save. And he's like, how many people are connected to that person? So he's yeah. he's pretty smart, yeah, and so he might be able to figure it out probably by hopefully maybe by the end of the season we'll see. Probably a cliffhanger for the. Uh season finale that's it from us uh let us know what you guys thought about the episode in the comments below uh we'll continue to do the video series if this is what you guys want to do we'll try to still do the podcast we'll just take this and chop it up into mp3 form uh if you guys listen to the podcast but other than that i've been your host mike villarreal and i was joined with john Wynn. and we'll see you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe to nerd reactor subscribe below see ya